Could a Daniel Robot killing game actually happen? Could 16 promising young talents be forced to participate in a murder mystery standoff? Could this actually happen in the real world? In other words, how would Ding and Ropa happen in real life? Hey, Fox, and to save you 30 minutes of your life? Yes, but actually no. So go on, you have your answer, run along now to whatever you need to do. If you want to learn more, stick around. Now, this is all hypothetical, no need to cause commotion on this topic, it's all speculation. The reason the answer to this question is yes but actually no is because while it is possible for it to happen, it's certainly not the easiest. Because you can't just kidnap a random group of 16 people and force them into a killing game. It's almost nigh impossible if you ask me. So this part will take a stab at the criteria needed for one to actually replicate an actual Danganronpa. First up, who would participate? If we were to match up the details and tailing the original Danganronpa, it would have to be high school students, 16 of them in fact, but not just a random selection of 16 random high school students. You see, in this world, we do not have a Hope Speak Academy. We don't have people we call Ultimate, so how will we go along escaping this gaping hole? Well, when you think of Ultimate in this world, you think of the best of the best. Ultimate Runner? Maybe Usain Bolt? Ultimate YouTuber? Maybe uh, PewDiePie? Ultimate Football Player? Well, I don't know much about sports, but you guys probably know someone. Those are examples of what we define as Ultimates. People well famous at whatever they do, and actually one of the best at what they do. Of course, the examples aren't high school students. I'm just saying there are probably some people out there famous for what they do. Which should be a akin to calling them Ultimates. A promising piano player, an astronaut in training, the world's youngest detective. Around the world, these people probably do exist and, well, they would be the ones participating in the killing game if one were to exist. The next criteria would have to be how would it happen? Through a technical standpoint, it seems certainly impossible. While it is not an easy thing to do, I would still say the kidnapping part of the whole process would be the easier part. If 16 students were to be kidnapped and thrown into a confined space, the authorities would eventually be able to find their location using satellites or whatnot and save them. And of course, it's not as easy as sounds, but think back to Dang Europa Trigger Happy Havoc. The entire killing game was broadcasted to the world. Now, I don't know about you, but having something so grotesque broadcasted to the world would most certainly be easier to trace, right? No matter how advanced a firewall or whatever may be in place. The biggest factor in a killing game not happening would have to be outside intervention. So I thought to myself, is there a way to be undetected by satellites or search parties? Then I thought of the group Anonymous, whom we all see a trending on social media as of late. I'm not entirely sure what they're capable of, nor assume that they would be the ones to do these sorts of things. But an organization of that caliber could make something like this happen. Being able to broadcast a killing game without outside intervention could be possible for them. As for location, believe it or not, there are still hundreds of islands in unexplored regions that are probably somewhere in the middle of the ocean. Big enough to house a killing game, yet small enough for satellites to not trace effectively. There may even be some locations that have already been discovered but not considered to be a location due to how inhospitable they may be. Like inside a volcano, or underground base, or in the wakes of Antarctica. It's not easy to search for a supposed Hope Speak Academy when in these locations. And we can assume the students' new homes would most likely accommodate all their needs as well. So far, all you need to recreate a Ding Europa is a huge salary, the Pentagon level programming and hacking, an unknown slash concealed location, 16 victims, I mean students, and a Junko Enoshima cosplay. Simple. But why do this? Why go through all the trouble of doing something that is possibly give any person benefits or accomplishments? Well, I'll tell you. Despair. 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 If you're already familiar with the Danganronpa universe, you already know why the killing games were conducted in the first place. Thanks to the working of Guru Ikusaba and Junko and Oshima, the purpose of everything they do is to fill the world with despair. Despair, according to my pocket dictionary, means loss of hope, which could be an equivalent to giving up. And to be frank, it's hard to believe that are, there are people out there who would want to do such things, but terrorist organizations, supremacists, criminals, they, they have the guts to be able to pull something off like this. Another thought that may be put through your mind would be, okay, but would this real life Danganronpa cause any real damage? Is it severe enough to be considered a threat? Well, yes. To put it simply, 
Have you ever heard of the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history? As we already know, Danganronpa takes place before, during, and after the tragedy. The incident prompted widespread social unrest with people everywhere protesting against the wealthy and talented. It was originally spread through the internet, but eventually evolved to the point where it was part of the public consciousness, reaching people of all races, cultures, and social standings. To fuel the flames of discontent, the movement rapidly engulfed the world. Becoming more violent by the day, chaos and death quickly became a normal part of society, and the original motives for the protests were lost. Soon, the better portion of the population had fallen into despair and anarchy, and the major worldwide phenomenon known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history has been born. And to tell you the truth, ain't that what's happening already? 2020 has been a very the tragedy kind of year already, and amidst of all this, it is the closest we have probably been to the setting matching the Danganronpa universe. If there were a time for a group to conduct a killing game, now would be the plausible time to lead to a world filled with despair. Other technicalities such as, you know, the Monokuma AIs, executions, seemingly infinite supplies and motives would be far more simple than the original games. For example, Monokuma can simply be replaced by a drone with a speaker attached, or just a standard saw TV. Executions can be standard, and motives can still be simple yet very persuasive. If there's anything I miss, or you feel as if I overlooked, feel free to express yourself in the comments. Also, happy 10th anniversary, Danganronpa. Congratulations. <sighs> Seems as if it were yesterday that I cried over some fictional characters. Well, with all that out of the way, I bid you duds farewell.